So what can we expect today? We're hoping for some quiet weather. Let's check in with meteorologist Lisa Green. Good morning. You can also check out those photos on the VNL First Alert app, too, where we, of course, have access to the latest radar. Hopefully, you were able to use that this weekend and got those alerts as those storms were rolling through. And we have damage from some of those tornadoes that touched down yesterday. Of course, preliminary reports, but we had lots of confirmation of some of those touchdowns, the one in Oriska, And then in Lamour County, this is in the Edgeley area, east of Edgeley, seven miles. Stacy sent us these photos, the series of photos of damage to their farm. Instead. Unfortunately, it looks like some big damage here to that large building and that trailer flipped over there and uh, some debris on the uh, grassy surface there. There were reports of a touchdown. We have some photos and video uh, from that Lamore and Edgeley area. And then this is up in the Goodridge area. And Josh sent us these photos here. So uh, in the middle there, you see that circled area. That's where he had a boat before the storm or after the storm. It's not there anymore. To the left, you can see where it was relative to that building and you can see where it ended up. It ended up blowing over toward his home. So uh, some damage in that area too. And National Weather Service has its work cut out for them today. We're looking at uh, s several areas where we had storm reports of potential funnels or tornadoes that touched down. Again, we're looking at the Lamore County area, of course, the Oriska storm uh, and in Barnes County. And then up in Hillsborough, several reports of funnel clouds. Our storm chaser, Eric Whitehill, was on that storm following it. Uh, as it was rolling through. And then up in the uh, Thief River Falls area, again, that touchdown that was reported too. So as soon as we get more information on those, once those surveys come back, we'll pass them along to you. Since then, it's quieted down significantly. You can see the storms have moved on. We've got drier air that's moved in. Temperatures are into the 40s and some 50s. It's 54 degrees in Fargo and 58 in Grand Forks. And it's going to be beautiful throughout the day today. Some clouds moving through this morning, but overall, we're looking at a day where we We've got some mostly sunny skies and temperatures into the mid to some upper 70s to about 80 degrees. A good day to be out on the patio. And we've got some great weather for the first half of the week. We get a breather here to dry out a little bit. Storms return for the second half of the week. So we'll, of course, continue to monitor that as it develops and keep that up forecast updated for you right here at Valley News Live.